we got some huge Rail C's news. In terms of gameplay, this is going to be crazy. Now, yesterday, Rail Sin posted something on Discord and he posted a picture saying seven depths to the sea of Rail C's. Each depth will have its own creatures you will hopefully won't find lurking around. And then he posted a screenshot of a giant, what looks to be some sort of sea beast or sea monster. And it looks pretty intimidating. That's not even half of it that's literally nothing they then posted a link to their twitter where you can actually see that same monster in size comparison to the biggest ship size now i'm assuming the biggest ship size is like they said before going to be the warships that are bigger than islands or block through and if that's the case the sea king is literally just as big if not just a tad bit smaller than the biggest ship size and if you look closely you can see us the R6 model on the tip of the biggest ship. No homo, of course. Just going to show how big some of these sea monsters are going to get inside of Rail Seas. Now, where this affects gameplay is that there's going to be seven depths to the Rail Seas. Now, what I need to know is do they mean depths as in deep woken we're going downwards ocean depths is there going to be different levels to the ocean or is it going to be different areas on the sea so for instance when you go to another area of the sea it will probably notify you saying depth two as in you don't actually need to dive down you just need to go forward but i'm assuming based off the terminology of depths we're going to be going under and if that is the case that means there's going to be so much content not only on the overworld but the under the water and if i had to assume what time of the playthrough you're going to be trying to go through the ocean depths this has got to be some late game gameplay you're probably going to need the best of the best in terms of ships and remember ships is going to be important in rail c so i'm assuming you're not even going to be able to take part in the ocean gameplay without some end game totally customized and decked out ships on top of that look at your size comparison compared to the sea king it's it's completely different in size i remember the rail brothers did say they want cannons to be as effective as fruits so i'm assuming you're going to need not only a mix of devil fruit and really strong hockey users but you're going to need so a lot of people with good ships these ships are going to be important for taking out some of these guys the sea king is literally huge now you're probably wondering how are you actually going to get to the seven depths how are you even going to go underwater how are you going to go in the water if you have things like devil fruits well to burst your bubble devil fruits are going to be hard to actually get assuming it the rail brothers stick to what they said we're not going to be having devil fruits anytime soon you guys are going to struggle to find them but the only reasonable way i can think of us being able to explore the seven depths properly is by using the bubble that you get from fishman island in a game like gpo you go to gpo fishman cave you get the bubble and you go underneath the water in order to do the maze that's what i'm assuming we would be using in rail seas in order to actually explore the seven depths unless it doesn't work like that we're literally just gonna have to wait and see but i'm not gonna lie to you this stuff has genuinely piqued my interest the gameplay for rail LCs is so huge and we haven't even seen progression or how we're gonna go about getting to the end game content for LCs. And remember, this is just one part of the game. The depths is one part of the game. We're still gonna be getting an in-depth impel down in the game. Remember, they said impel down is gonna be detailed and is actually gonna be you have to play through each of the layers. On top of being able to have the weapons and gear that we're going to need to take on all of these channels challenges rail seas is definitely not going to be a linear game and we don't even know what we have in store for us the rail seas movies and the devlogs honestly haven't showed us anything about this game's gameplay and the potential this game has is crazy i just want to see how they end up pulling all of this off how it's going to be optimized in game and how we're actually going to go about playing through all of this content but now that the rail brothers are showing off sneaks again i'm assuming probably by the end of this week or next week we're going to be getting the dev vlogs back again and they did say movie 2 should be happening soon so it might be coming this month and honestly that's it rail seas is honestly looking crazy this this game is not a joke so i want to quickly keep I just wanted to quickly bring you guys that information. That's it for me. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.